Hey everybody, I'm Matt Hill. I'm here in Tulsa, Oklahoma at the AAPG convention. It's the American Association of Petroleum Geologists and I'm, I'm honored to introduce people in our industry or just, you know, outside of it, but they all contribute to one thing, uh, reliable, abundant uh, resources that we use for energy. Uh, introduce yourself. What's your name? I'm Camelia Knapp. I'm a professor and uh, the head of the Boone Pecan School of Geology at Oklahoma State University. Also on the board of directors for Oklahoma Geological Foundation. And here is Tom Cronin, and I'm chairman of the Oklahoma Geological Foundation. Well, thank you all for being on my show. Um, tell, tell me, how did you, you get involved in this industry? Uh, uh, what, what drove you to uh, teach you know, all of these amazing people how to go about finding oil and gas? It's a long story, but to make it short, I was born and raised in Romania, and Romania has energy, has, yeah. uh, has energy resources, oil and gas. And um, I wanted to be a geologist. I became a geophysicist, an exploration geophysicist, and that's all history. So um, then, um, that's an excellent history. yeah, then I I uh, I like teaching. Uh, I've been teaching for a long time, <laughs> and uh, you know we, we are excited. You know, even with COVID and everything, uh, it's really it was an exciting meeting, and I think it's a great time for geoscientists and for our students. Uh, there are lots lots of things that we can do in the subsurface of the earth. And uh, we learned much more at this meeting um, that um, I think we can take back to our students. These meetings are vital. I mean, first of all, just for me, you know, at the, you know, on the outside, just to be able to come and meet people. Uh, t tell everybody about what you're doing. Uh, I'm a geologist. I'm an exploration geologist. I've been in the business since 1970. Um, I've uh, got a master's degree in geology and just fell in love with the business and the people. And uh, Oklahoma Geological Foundation is a... Uh, 513C and basically we uh, give got, uh, scholarships and grants to students and schools throughout the state of Oklahoma. Wow, that's good. Uh -huh. yeah. that, that's uh, more and more if you peel back you know just how much our industry gives back yes. to STEM, right? Exactly, and that's what we're, what we're doing. Uh, we've uh, been very successful at that. We've had uh, great outreach programs to the students in the schools. I took another director myself delivered what we call the rock mineral and fossil collections to Jenks School. Um, hands-on. Uh, hands-on to about 500 kids, sixth graders, and it, it was just, it's just electrifying, and as Camelia said, it's, uh, uh, it gets you excited about the business, about the future, and so we're out there trying to get everybody aware of earth science education and geology and the oil and gas business. Well, w without it, I mean, we don't have all of this, right? That, that's the thing. We, there's, there's no oil and gas without, you know, the, the scientists backing it, or teachers, right? <laughs> right? Exactly. Well, let's face it, uh, more than 80% of the world energy consumption comes from fossil fuels. And it's not and, going away. And it's not going to go away. Uh, we just need to be good stewards of our environment and climate. And I think we are. Do you, do you uh, being in the uh, being in the teaching side of things? Do you see a lot of uh, uh, people in the universities? Uh, I mean, you're one of. I mean, you know, a lot of times you think of universities as not supporting oil and gas, but I think here in Oklahoma they do. Well, definitely, Oklahoma State University has a land grant institution. Uh, we are supporting the state of Oklahoma, and uh, Oklahoma is an energy state. And it's not only oil and gas. We are the third producer in the United States for wind power, Oklahoma. So, uh, you know, we, we are all for the integration of energy resources and also good stewards of the environment. We have programs. Actually, we have a proposal now for a, a Bachelor of Science degree in environmental geosciences just to bring you know all of the environmental disciplines in geosciences together and uh, teach our students in addition to our geology and geophysics degrees that's fascinating well uh, for those watching how do people get a hold of you um, you guys are on the LinkedIn, website. yeah, LinkedIn. Camellia Nap. I'm the only Camellia Nap on LinkedIn, <laughs> so easy. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad. Yeah, I can't wait to look it up. And and what's the uh, website they go to find more about uh, Oklahoma State and everything they're involved with? It's geology at okstate one word dot edu. And what about the foundation? How do they find it? You just go on the website or go on uh, the web and get uh, uh, pull up Oklahoma Geological Foundation, and you'll find us. So. Thank you guys for what you do. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Go folks. Go folks. <laughs> That's it. Take care. God bless. Thank you.